Today we're taking a look at the Movoi TicWatch Pro 4G, one of the first Wear OS smartwatches with 4G connectivity. If you're new here and want to stay up to date with the latest tech, please hit subscribe, follow by the bell. So first of all, we'll start with the unboxing. We've got a well-packaged product with all the features, etc. on the back. When we open it up, we first get the TicWatch Pro, and behind that, we get the instruction manual along with the USB charger. The charger has the pin connectors that line up with the watch, and the TicWatch Pro attaches to this magnetically, making it easy to place on the dock when charging. We'll quickly run through the specs and then take a look at the features and how well this performs. We've got a dual display on the TicWatch Pro consisting of a 1.4 inch AMOLED along with a monochrome LCD display. These are protected by Gorilla Glass 3. It contains 4GB of storage with 1GB of RAM and runs on Wear OS. It's powered by the Snapdragon Wear 2100 and it has a 415mAh battery with some great power save features for long lasting battery. It's got a built in speaker, it's IP68 water resistant and it can be used for swimming tracking. It has NFC and built in GPS, Wi Fi, Bluetooth 4.2 and 4G LTE. Finally, it of course has sensors to monitor heart rate, detect ambient light and an off body sensor. The TicWatch Pro 4G has a military standard durability certificate. The watch face is made of a polyamide and glass fiber with a knurled stainless steel bezel and an aluminium back cover. We get a silicon strap which is ideal for swimming and it's both lighter and thinner than the previous TicWatch Pro Bluetooth. Another great advantage over the Bluetooth model is 1GB of RAM which really helps boost the speed and performance of the device. So when it comes to smartwatches, I'm personally a big fan of Wear OS. It means we can easily link our phone and if we need more apps or watch faces, we can simply get them from the Play Store. The phone is compatible with both iOS and Android. The TicWatch Pro has many useful features for tracking our sleep and sporting activities and thanks to their well thought out design, we can use different modes to save battery. When it comes to the display, we've got a dual display which is great for battery life. We've got the AMOLED display for the normal use of the watch. And when that's not in use, we have a monochrome LCD display that's always on and consumes much less power. We can actually turn the AMOLED display off and use the LCD only if we want to use as just a normal watch. It will then only show us the time, date and steps and the watch can last for a long time in this mode. To bring back the AMOLED display, we simply press one of the buttons to use it as a normal watch. And for those who don't want this, there's also an always on display mode that will keep the AMOLED display on, but it will of course use more power. And of course, we do have the auto brightness settings to save on battery life when using the AMOLED display. They've also taken battery saving a step further and provided us with an essentials mode. When in the essential mode, we have the LCD screen only and pressing the button will not bring the AMOLED display back on. We can still press the bottom button to take our heart rate, but you won't be receiving any notifications. When using in the essential mode, you'll only lose a couple of percentage battery each day, so this can be very useful if you can't have a charge. To exit essential mode, we simply press and hold the top button to reboot into the standard mode. When it comes to general use of the watch, it's great. Everything is very responsive and we can swipe through apps and menus nice and easily. It has the tilt to wake feature by default, so it will always be on the LCD display until we actually need to take a look at the screen. Navigation on the TicWatch Pro also works very well. The top button is the back button, the bottom button is to track a fitness activity and we can also swipe the screen to navigate. The great thing about the bottom button is we can single press to start fitness tracking, double press to activate Google Pay for those who want to make payments using the watch and NFC and we can also long press this button for another menu. The menu allows us to send an SOS if required, which will immediately dial emergency services and broadcast your location. We can also enter the essentials mode we talked about earlier, restart, power off, and we can even customize what app this button opens. If we swipe right on the main display, it takes us to the Google Assistant where we can speak to it as you would normally. If we swipe left, it brings us to our tiles where we can view things like steps, weather and calendar. You can also customize these tiles to include the things you need. For instance, I've added a timer. 
If we swipe up, we can see our notifications from our apps. And one thing I like here is that if we read something like a WhatsApp message, it will also provide us with some quick reply options to just press. It's great that we can read all of our messages and notifications on the watch. If we swipe down, we get flight mode, settings, speaker on or off, Google Play, screen off, and finally a do not disturb mode. If we hold down on the main display, it also allows us to pick from the default watch faces, and we can of course download more and use any watch face from Google Play. If we single tap the top button, it shows us a list of our apps, and of course, being Wear OS, we can head to the Play Store and download the apps we need. Being Wear OS, it is more a limited version of the Play Store, but it also allows you to search by voice commands, which makes things much easier, of course, when using a watch. When it comes to the fitness tracking, you can use your Google Fit apps, and we also have the tick exercise. You can set your exercise activity before starting, or we can enable tick motion in settings. Tick motion will proactively track your activities in the background without the need to manually set them. The TickWatch Pro 4G offers improved autonomous tracking and 24-7 heart rate monitoring in the background. We can use the Mobvoi app on our mobile to view our fitness activities and the watch pairs with the phone to make this setup nice and easy. We can also track our sleep with the TickSleep app. This uses artificial intelligence to automatically detect and track our sleep without pressing any buttons and it will give us information on the sleep. It provides us with an analysis on sleep cycles and time spent sleeping and includes our heart rate with every stage of the cycle. Unfortunately, I can't get much data on this as personally I cannot sleep while wearing a watch, but I know it's a feature that many people require. You can also use the Tick Smart Alarm that monitors your sleep cycle and it will wake you up with a subtle vibration when in a state of light sleep. We've also got a built-in speaker for Google Assistant and notifications and we can even listen to music on the watch. Hey Google, what is the weather today? While not the loudest speaker, it's good enough for what we need and it can still be heard clearly. Now one of the key features of the TickWatch Pro 4G is of course the cellular connectivity. Because of the 4G connectivity, you can make calls, texts and use data wherever you are and your phone can stay at home. Unfortunately, I can't test this myself as 3 in the UK doesn't currently support this, however many networks do. It's supported by Verizon in the USA and Vodafone in UK and Germany and Mobvoi are working to extend this support to other carriers. It's a great feature that means the times you do forget your phone or simply don't want to take it out, then you're not going to miss out on anything, especially as we can even make payments from the watch. Overall, I think the TickWatch Pro is great. It offers everything we need from a smartwatch and a fitness tracker, and I think it has been well thought out with the customizations to suit your personal needs. The watch is currently available on Amazon for £249 or $300 in the USA, and I've placed links down in the description along with links to their official webpage. Of course, full disclosure, this video is sponsored by TickWatch. They've sent me this for free and asked for a review for you guys, but of course, does not change any opinions. And if you do have any questions or there's anything I've missed, simply ask them in the comments and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. But thanks for watching the video. If you liked it, smash a thumbs up. If you didn't, hit the thumbs down twice and I'll see you guys in the next one.